take 112. <laughs> CC here. I'm glad to be back. Been very busy. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but my day job keeps me really busy. The little time that I have left it seems that I only want to organize. So this is why today you're going to see an organizational video. I am in purging mode. Stuff that I haven't used in anywhere from three years and up is going out is except if it's a tool but in terms of papers or stickers brads and all that kind of stuff it's going i have two good friends that are into crafting um they have young kids or work with young kids so it's perfect for them so i've been gifting them with that and it feels so great to purge you have no idea. I think the abundance of things sometimes prevents you from creating. The last thing that I was able to tackle around my room is, because I'm working my way around my room. <laughs> so I started on this side. I'll do a full updated craft room tour when I'm done. I started with this Expedit shelf from Ikea. And so all my papers and all my cardstock are in there. I used to overflow. I used to have a big tower here. I used to have like 12 by 12. 12, 12 by 12 <laughs> drawers full of paper as well. So that's all gone. I used to store my dies right inside that cupboard door that you see there and it's covered with magnet sheets. So I'm just gonna pull it open here so you can see. see. These are magnet sheets and that was fine for a while until I ran out of space because more and more companies are making them and they're all more beautiful than the other and you want them all because you got a problem <laughs> and I'm sure I'm not the only one so anyways I had to come up with a different system I wanted to have all my dies in a centralized place so I went to my staple store and I got these mini binders I love 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 these binders I think I bought them out of the binders at the time because I have another project, but that's for later on. They're kind of like an odd size, but they do sell the sheet protectors as well as the tab inserts for them. So it's not a big deal, really. And what I like about them is that they're really sturdy. This is plastic, rigid plastic, and it's got this sturdy rubber spine as well as on the ends here, which is really great. Because if you're going to put metal inside this, the dies in themselves are not really heavy but if you add a lot of them like this this is my spell binders binder and as you can see it's full and it probably weighs close to five pounds if not more so you want something sturdy the other thing i liked also is that it's got a d-ring system which is always a bonus so i'm going to walk you through how i organize my dies within these binders I was able to fit all of the dies that were inside of my cupboard door, which was full, into these two binders. And as you can see, one of them is not even, I would say, a quarter full. I have one binder for the Spellbinder dies, which I have the most of, and the other one is for the my other dies. Right now, I only have Memory Box and Stampin' Up, but I know there's more coming inside of each binder. I kept the insert that came with the Spellbinders dies because inside it's got the recipe for my particular Big Shot machine. So I highlighted that section and it's got the sandwich recipe for cutting as well as embossing. Let me do a close up right here. So it's always good to uh, have that on hand when you're going to use the dies. I do have a reference book that I keep but instead of dishing out the instructions all the time I just thought it would be a good idea to keep that inside the pocket here. I bought the sheet protectors that are specifically made for that size of binders and here they are. They come in packages of 15. They're not cheap but I figured this was a good investment for that storage system and I also bought those for my stamp collection binders and I'll do another video on that. In each sheet protector I was able to put two, they're called photo magnets sheets, and I got these at my dollar store. In Canada, we have Dollaramas. I'm not sure in the States if you have those, but basically they come, it's a dollar per sheet. And what I did is I put two magnetic sheets back to back within the same 
plastic page protector and it just it fits perfectly and when I do need one I just pull out the sheet like this and grab whatever and then store it back in there after I'm done and with my label maker I just labeled each set this one is for my spell binders and as you can see it is almost full but I really really enjoy that system and the magnet sheets are quite sturdy they hold the dies pretty well and I'm just able to flip through and see what I want to use. Now in addition to this I still have in my crafts and supplies inventory binder which I have yet to um, edit the video. It's coming soon I promise but in my dies section I have all the dies that I have. So I have a terrible memory. It's, it's horrible and I've often bought duplicates and I do not want to buy duplicates of Spellbinder dies because they're not cheap. So I have just listed the names of them so that when I go shopping I don't buy duplicates. Here I have my other metal dies which are a memory box and Stampin' Up! And as you can see I don't have a lot of the memory box but you know. I'm sure it'll get filled up real soon. I also included two extra sheets in each binder already prepped and ready to go. There's another reason why I put the metal sheets and the sheet protectors. Um, they're very magnetized if I want to say it that way. If you were to put two sheets back to back with dies on them, the minute you would close your book all the dies would stick to the other sheets and it's really annoying. I tried. <laughs> it's really annoying. So that way, yeah, they do stick a little bit to each other but if you pull them apart the dies are still on their proper sheet so I like that. The only drawback to this system I find is because of the weight of these binders this is very heavy I would say it's about maybe five pounds. I wouldn't recommend storing them standing upright just because eventually the sheet protectors would come unhinged so I would store them horizontally like this. I mean, it's not a big deal and these binders are great because they come in a variety of colors so you can choose the color you want for different categories like my dyes are all in red binders so it's great to be color coordinated it just saves on time it's you can grab whatever binder you need right away because you know all the dyes are red so that was my organizational tip for today I hope that you've enjoyed it if you have any ideas to share leave them in the comments or better yet make a video response that'd be fun to watch. I have another organizational video to edit soon so I hope I'll find time to do this within the next few days. So I'm just gonna sign off and I'll see you later. À la prochaine!